Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and today we are filming a block of the month. It's this block right here. It's a pattern by Kimber Bell Designs, and it is adorable. You can see them right behind me here. There's two different ways. It's called Home is Where the Haunt is. How cute is that? And um, this is divided into seven segments, so we'll be concentrating on one segment at a time. And we're just gonna go through the pattern and we're gonna make this quilt. The first block we're gonna make is gonna be this block here, this nine patch with these extra pieces. And then you'll also make an additional nine patch right here. So we're gonna make two nine patches plus this extra piece that hooks on over here. So let's take a look at this pattern. So the pattern, what's fun about this is that there is, um, there is no kits for this. So you need to go into your stash, and I know there's a little stash out there, and find some uh, Halloween-related fabrics, and even some that aren't. I mean, this isn't naturally Halloween, but it will be cute with a certain colorway. So just decide. I Rather than doing mine a darker or a lighter colorway, I'm just going to kind of mix mine up and use for my stash and grab what I have. So, you know, get in your bins and pull out some fabrics and we'll start this. So the other fun thing about this is that if you find you love this size, she has one of these like for every holiday, maybe even every month. I mean, this girl has a bunch of these and she's so clever. Really cute patterns. So the first block we're going to make in this little segment is a nine patch. The nine patch is made using three and a half inch squares. Now she does, she has a cool way of writing out her patterns. She has her notes up here that tell you the general information. And, and you will need this pattern to participate in this block of the month. So, so make sure you pick one up because it's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, you can follow along, but you'll have all the measurements and everything like that on here. So down here, she has the different fabrics lined out that you're going to need and the general colorways. Now you can, you can play with that, whatever you want, but I would make a mark like I'd put, if I was gonna use green here, I'd put green and that sort of thing. So then she has cutting instructions down here. And for two of these nine patches, you're gonna need 10 three and a half inch blocks of a, of a light color and eight three and a half inch blocks of a dark color or vice versa. So we're gonna take, I just, what I did was I had some scraps and I just took my strip like this and I measured over three and a half inches, and this is how I get a bunch of blocks at once. Let's make sure that stays right, there we go. And then you're just going to lay this down here, cut off your um, selvage edge, and you just move in and cut your three and a half. You wanna count over one, two, three, and a half. And then you have your half at the beginning and you're gonna count over one, two, three. So that's how you're gonna cut your three and a half inch blocks and you're gonna get a little stack of those um, out of your fabric. So here's how you put a nine patch together. And we're going to put it together so that our, our lights are in the corners and our dark is in the middle. So there's the first row. Then the second row starts with the darks and ends with the darks and has your light in the middle. And then the third row is just like the top. So let me press this and make sure this is nice and flat. So it starts this way and this way. And this is how you make a nine patch, just like that. Now to put this together, what I do is I um, chain piece mine. And so I'm gonna fold all of these like this and chain piece these one after the other after the other. And I'm just gonna bring this other stack over here to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I do this. So when I first start sewing, I just sew a light and a dark together. And I just uh, make sure they're matched up and let it run through. And I do three of those and I make sure that my, um, my light stays on the bottom and the dark stays on the top. And then one more like this. Let me see, make sure that stays lined up there. And then I know that I need one row that has um, the darks on either side and one row that has the light, or two rows that have the lights on either side. So then I'm just gonna take my piece like this and I'm gonna grab my light and I'm gonna put it on here
and this will be my first row. It's light, dark, light. The next one is going to be dark, light, dark. And we're just going to go ahead and send that one through. And the last row again will be light, dark, light. So we'll send that one through. Now we always like to iron to the dark side. So we'll go over to the ironing board and, uh, and I'll show you how to iron these so that they lay nicely together and your points all line up. So when you iron to the dark side on this one, that means these seams right here are going to go in. So we're just going to iron those in a little bit. I'm going to flip this over and make sure that there are no uh, creases in here, that this is out nice and flat. This one the same. So this one is going to go in as well. Flip it over, make sure there's no creases, and make sure our seam stays to the dark. This one, the dark will go to the dark side like this. And, and it goes the opposite way. These go out. So then when we go to put this together, we're just going to nest these seams right in here. And you can see how they just nest together. One seam goes one direction, one seam goes the other, and they're just perfect. So let's go put this block together. And they, they, it just lays together real nice. And then, of course, what we want to do is we want to put this on the bottom like that. So we're just going to lay this one over here, line it up on the edge, and feel for that seam with our finger. Make sure there's no room in between because we want our corners to match up nice and tight. There we go. And then we have a nine patch block. So let's take a look at that. Really nice corners. I'm going to go ahead and iron this out, press it down. What we're looking for is a flat block. So you can flatten your, your seams out however you like and we're looking for a flat block like this. So you need to make two of these for this, this first section. And I wanna show you some of the ones I made because I just made a bunch of different ones. So take a look at all these different ones. So each one of these is gonna bring a different quality and a different piece of fun to the quilt. I'm actually gonna make several of these because y'all know I have a few children and they'll all want one. So we're gonna set aside the one block because that we'll use in a different part. This one here we'll use in a different part. But now we need to make this block here up on the top. And it's going to, um, we're going to add a little two inch piece. So right down here, it'll say you're going to add a two, uh, let's see, it's a nine and a half inch by a two inch strip. And I'm going to cut me a two inch strip. Line up my fabric, make sure my fold and my edge are lined up. I'm going to cut this edge right here to make sure that this is a clean edge. Come over two inches and cut me a strip. And then I have to cut my strip into a nine and a half inch piece. So I'm going to lay it down here and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half right here and we'll trim that off. So now I have a nine and a half inch piece and the next piece I'm going to add on this little end piece over here is going to be nine and a half by six and a half and that's this little block right here that our broom's going to sit on. And so I have that already cut right here so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this little nine and a half inch piece right here and we are going to add it right sides together to our block and then we'll add this one to the strip. So let's go over the sewing machine and do that. All right, so I'm just going to sew along here a quarter of an inch like that. And then I'm going to add this other uh, six and a half by nine and a half inch piece to that. 
And just sew that down. Same straight quarter of an inch. And we, we can't add any of, the, any of the brooms or the embellishments until the quilt's been quilted. Because the, your, first of all, your quilter would have a fit. <laughs> Secondly, um, well, that's part of our last lesson is all these embellishments. So I'm going to make sure that my seams are laying down nice and flat here on the black back and going the same direction, and I'm just going to press that over. So this is the whole block we're going to need that goes right here. You can see up here. And then all you need to add to finish this whole lesson out is you need to add a broom handle. Now they have used Rick Rack, and you can see the Rick Rack much better on here. A little piece of Rick Rack. You can also use a little piece of fabric. I used a little piece of fabric here on uh, this one I put together. I just used a little piece of fabric for a cute little broom handle, and I will be stitching that down. Um, but it's really whatever you want to do. So we hope you enjoyed block number one of our first block of the month with Home is Where the Haunt is from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.